Hello, hello. Welcome to episode three of Chill Time with Kelly. I am your host, Kelly. And wow, wow, wow. We're already in April. Like I said in last week's podcast, it is so crazy to know how fast time goes. Literally, when I'm recording this, it is literally April 2nd. It's currently 1043 at night. Usually, I never record my podcast this late at night, but it has been a crazy, crazy week. So in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the importance of self-concept. I was going to touch on burnout, but I need more time to plan that episode. So today, we're going to be focusing on self-concept. So self-concept, the general definition that I found online is an idea of the self-constructed from the beliefs one holds about oneself and the responses of others. And it came from Roy Baumister, it's spelled B-A-U-M-E-I-S-T-E-R, and it it was published in 1999, so you guys can look that up. So, why am I touching on self-concept? So, I had really, really poor self-concept within the last year. And I recently have learned that the way that you view yourself is super, super important. Basically, I have learned the way that you view yourself, it definitely influences people's responses towards you so for example i would be sometimes treating myself really badly or think that i am not worthy at all and then when i would be talking to people it mirrored back to me that they also think that i am not worth it but deep down i knew i knew i knew it that that's not true but for some reason i kept believing it was for some reason So that's where I realized that my self-concept was not good. And again, apologies if I keep bringing up my own experiences, but that's what the theme of this podcast is. It is basically lessons that I have learned based on my own experience. So if this does not interest you, you are more than free to click off. But for those of you who are very interested and want to hear out on some of my advice, because that's what this show is about, then keep on listening. So when I realized that my self-concept was not the best was when I would get upset at people not treating me like I was treating them. So I would guess, say, for an example... This one certain day, I was being super, super nice to my coworkers, but they were not giving me the same respect back. And I would just be so upset, so offended that I was literally giving so much kindness to them, but they were not giving that same in kindness or like gratitude towards me. And it was so frustrating and so upsetting that I nearly had freak out about it. But then that's when it hit me, like, I was not feeling that gratitude for myself, like, I was not being kind to myself. So when I started being more kind to myself, like, for example, like, telling myself, I am worthy of everything that I do, I am good enough, I am amazing, I'm a badass, I'm a queen, and I started embodying it and then embracing the uh, positivity i saw that my coworkers started appreciating me more there was this one day i came in so early to uh, cover them because they were running late and then so one person didn't come but the other one did and then he was just thanking me so much for everything that i was doing in the morning and It was truly, truly amazing to suddenly see him having so much gratitude and finally acknowledging everything that I've done. And also what I have realized is as long as I feel good for doing what I do, so like if I know I'm being nice to someone and they're not appreciating it, it, or they don't tell me, oh, thank you so much for covering me 
this morning, even though if they don't say it, I know that they appreciate it because I felt good when I was doing it. And as long as I have that gratitude for myself, I don't need any like external validation as long as I know I'm good enough. And it's honestly comes back to, I guess, giving yourself more credit. Again, disclaimer, um, take what resonates with you. I'm not saying that my advice is tried and true, Ooh, but I am just sharing what works for me. And if it works for you, great, because this is not a one size fits all topic. There is not one way to improve yourself. There's a ton of different ways to, but this is just what worked for me. So if you're struggling with self-concept, I have four tips that have helped me the most. So again, take what resonates. So my first tip that I recently started doing just like a few months ago, and I really love it, is look yourself in the mirror and gash yourself up. So self-concept is like how you view yourself. So you have to look yourself in the mirror and just say affirmations that make you feel amazing. It can be things like, I am a badass. I am amazing. I am the luckiest person in the world. world. Everyone is super thankful and happy to be around me because I am amazing and I am powerful. Things like that. And eventually it will rewire your brain like as long as you feel it and then you believe it 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 definitely it might be hard to believe at first if you're very if you're struggling with self-concept but trust me when I say it will stick as long as you persist you have to put in the work it cannot happen or actually I take that back it can happen overnight but it's just you have to be persistent tip number two that i have is have inner conversations with yourself so what i would how i would do this is if you're more of a visualizing type person you don't have all access to a mirror at 24 hours a day i know i certainly don't but just you could also just sit yourself down at any point during your day and just visualize a picture of yourself pretend you're looking at yourself and just have and just picture yourself telling you those things that and, um, you believe in yourself so basically for example what I do is that I picture myself and then I picture her saying to me listen Kelly you are amazing. You are powerful. You have come such a long way. Just keep on going. Everything you want on is there for you already. Just get into the feeling of it, knowing that you have everything you want and have it come to you. So things like that, that really, really get me in a state of just being calm and just relaxed knowing that I can do anything I want and I am getting everything I want. Tip number three I have is don't be hard on yourself and the reason why I feel like this definitely helps with your self-concept is if you're constantly stressing about every little thing like every little detail like it's just going to come back and bite you so it's okay if that you can if it's hard for you you listeners out there to have good self-concept at the very beginning like it's hard for anyone to do something for the first time so if it is your first time constantly telling yourself that you are badass like i am a badass i am powerful i am amazing i get everything i want to because the universe has got my back if it's hard for you to believe all of that at the very beginning don't be hard on yourself and don't beat yourself up over it slowly slowly acclimate yourself so what i would do at the very beginning is that when i would be saying all those different things to myself and it was hard for me to believe it at the beginning what i would do is 
if I felt like I started, I would start freaking out, I would just take a few deep breaths and, and just relax and just constantly remind myself, I can do it, I am doing it, and I am amazing at this. So that is, I know easier said than done, but you have to persist. If you don't want to persist, you don't put in the work, it's not going to happen overnight. So this last one is definitely something if, if you're comfortable with, but this one definitely helped me is do something nice for a stranger. So the other day that when I was walking home, I saw a stranger with their dog, walking their dog, and the dog just went to the bathroom and he was picking up the waste with a napkin. So I walk up to him and ask him, do you want a plastic bag? He turns around and he just smiles at me. And he just says, if you have one, that would be great. And I just gave him a plastic bag that I had in my backpack. And just literally the pure smile and the pure gratitude I saw in his face. And his response was, Thank you so, so much. I deeply appreciate it. Thank you so much. The fact that he was so, so thankful just for a small act, just of just me giving him a plastic bag, it, it changed, it changed his day. Like just seeing his face like light up and smile, like it was the best thing that happened to me all day. So, and that just made me feel good on the inside and that definitely helped my self-concept because I knew deep down that this was going to be a really nice thing for this stranger and he mirrored it back to me and just had made the best gratitude that I've ever seen like I would definitely want a stranger to be doing something like that for me as well and if you live in a big city like chances of that is not that high because everyone is hustling and bustling and rushing everywhere. So just these small little acts of kindness definitely will change a person's day and I, I wouldn't sugarcoat it at all. So oh, those are my four tips. And again, take what resonates, take what you can do, but just keep this in mind. The only way for you to improve your mental health and self-concept and all that you have to have to put in the work and it's easier said than done i know but once you start it you persist in it it even though if it gets hard it will and does become easier if you don't want to put in the work you don't want to be persistent then of course, it's going to be hard and very, very difficult. You just really need to establish yourself and just know that you are worth it. Definitely, like I said, easier said than done, but persistence is the key. And if you are listening to this and you're also struggling with mental health, self-concept, just know it's going to get better. And put in the work, put in the effort, you will heal and you are healing. So with that being said, that is going to be the end of this episode of Chill Time with Kelly. Thank you so much for listening. And next week, we will definitely be talking about burnout. That's a topic that definitely I've been also seeing a lot of in my personal life, my friend group, and that is going to be a good episode and an episode you can relate to. So see you guys next week on Chill Time with Kelly.